Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to tell you about uh, scholars mate, which is a very common mating pattern among beginners. Uh, beginners and amateurs fall for this mating pattern and it's always good to know this uh, so that you can avoid getting into a mating net like this. So the game starts with e4, e5, bishop c4, white develops the bishop uh, before his knights, which is a violation of uh, the opening principles, always develop knights before the bishops. But uh, there are openings like bishop's opening, where, which, which is this opening, where uh, you develop the bishop before the knight. Bishop c4, now it is threatening the f7 square. In chess, usually the f7 and f2 squares are weak, uh, or weak pawns, because it is only supported by the king. No other piece is supporting those those pawns or those squares. So it is a weak square and this bishop is targeting the that particular square. Um, black plays knight c6. Better is knight f6 here, uh, but black plays knight c6. Queen h5. And now threatening the scholar's mate here. Uh, queen takes f7. A knight f6, if this is a blunder, if an amateur plays knight f6 to drive away this queen, then queen f7 is checkmate. I'll show you once more. e4, e5, bishop c4, knight c6, queen h5, knight f6, queen f7, checkmate. So how to avoid... Uh, this scholar's mate is very simple. Yeah. If queen h5, play g6, drive over the queen, queen, if queen f3, knight f6, uh, preventing this queen takes f7 checkmate. Um, some black plays something like knight c3, bishop g7, and d3, castle, knight e2 with a normal game because and black is shade better because uh, this queen is misplaced on f3 and uh, it can be attacked with uh, you know the most like d6 and bishop g bishop g4 so that is about scholars mate i hope you enjoyed this video uh, see you in the next video